today we cover profiles and uh, there are different kinds of profiles there are existing surface profiles and finished ground profiles for example in this uh, drawing that you that is displayed here the red line the red dashed line represents uh, an existing surface and uh, the blue line represents a design surface or a finished ground surface whatever you see in grid this is what is called a profile view many people confuse between a profile view and a profile whatever i've selected is the profile view this is what houses the profile. The profiles are this line that represent uh, the surface geometry or the intended finished ground surface geometry. Down here you have data bands and they house the data about these, these profiles. For example, this is the existing ground and finished ground data, meaning on the left here you have the existing ground data and on the right here you have the finished ground data. So, for example, here at this chainage, this is the level of the finish of the surface, existing ground surface, and that is the level, and the second part is this is the level of the finished ground surface. Because the blue is the finished ground and the red is the existing ground and as you can see the existing ground is lower than the finished ground the red is lower than the finished ground and up here you have the title of this profile view and, uh, and on the left you have the the title of the horizontal axis and, and here the data bands down here you have the vertical geometry they're showing you how this finished ground is changing in terms of geometry it's starting with a tangent and then becomes a curve at some point as you can see this is the curve and then go by goes back to to a tangent and then a curve and then a tangent and then down here you have horizontal geometry showing you how the alignment is changing also in geometry uh, profiles can be created from up here create surface profile or you can also create finished ground profiles from here uh, profiles of best fit you can create a profile from a file a quick profile a quick profile basically is a temporary profile when created uh, and you save your drawing it disappears then you can also create superimposed profile you can create profile from corridor you can also create a profile by selecting an alignment and going to the contextual tab of the alignment and you can see a surface profile there we'll cover this in the next video